clearly things haven't gone as hope for Eastern so far this year. Again, playing just 250 baseball at 6 and 18. But if you look at their upcoming schedule, you're going to see a lot more home games than they've been used to so far this year, which is always the case. That pitch is lashed up the middle for a base hit. Howell's going to come in to score easily, and Gasparro around third. He'll score as well. And all four batters so far for the Panthers have reached, and they lead it two to nothing. I'll tell you what, again, a nice piece of hitting right there. Just take in what the pitcher gives you, shoot it right back up the middle, score two, and just like that, when we thought Easter was in trouble, now they're on top, two nothing. All right, here's Nick Priestman instead. You get another look at the base hit. The key to that right there, he got a pitch he can work with outside in front where he can size up and decide what he wanted to do with it. Yeah, didn't try to do too much, just went right back up the shoot with it. We saw a couple of Illinois State base hits in the first inning go that same direction. And so here's the left-handed hitting Priestman at 241. And he shows bunt, pops one up, but it deadens down the first base line and a successful sacrifice for Priestman. And runners will advance 90 feet apiece. And so now a pair in scoring position for Dimitri Taylor. And now you got second and third, one out, and got a lefty up. A lot of things you can do right here. Back on the infield. Righty up, excuse me. The pitch to Taylor, chop foul into the Eastern Illinois dugout. I said righty, I said lefty. Let me correct myself one more time. A lefty up. There you go. Third time's a charm. And now Landwehr, pitch, hit deep in the air towards right field. Aguilera at the track, at the wall, out of here. A three-run homer for Dimitri Taylor, and just like that, EIU all over ISU, five to nothing here in the first.